Well, this is kind of fun, something different. We don't get to see the side of Mike Soroka. Tell me about your love of guitar playing and where did that start? Yeah, I mean, really it came from uh, loving Guitar Hero. My sister got me Guitar Hero for Christmas one year. Uh, we got into rock, stuff like that. That's what she always loaded on my MP3. Uh, and in the car, it was always my dad's choice of music. I was never really allowed the radio for a while. So uh, once I fell into classic rock, uh, and then, you know, all the good stuff, Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith. I uh, kind of just carried on and fell in love with just wanting to play the songs that I loved. Uh, not necessarily worrying about theory or any of that, just wanting to play. So you're self-taught? You just play by ear? Did you actually take lessons? How did, how did you get so good? Uh, so I started taking kind of YouTube videos, tutorials, all that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, it was, it was really just hearing a song that I really wanted to play. Uh, I already knew how to read music a little bit through a band at school. Um, taught myself how to, how to look at tabs. Uh, that's how you, I mean, that's basically how you read guitar music. And essentially it just, it went on to learning how to play the simple stuff, you know, Iron Man, like Black Sabbath, and Back in Black, all that kind of stuff. It's just <laughs> nice, easy, it sounds good, and it's easy to play. Um, and then it got more complicated, and then it just got to the point where I wanted to be perfectionist and I wanted it to sound exactly like the record to be able to play along with it. It's interesting you say that because just watching you play it seems that your pitching style matches your guitar playing style and it seems <laughs> that there is sort of a perfectionist uh, theme that runs through both of these uh, these things. You on the mound a very uh, stoic, very calm, almost picture-perfect delivery and result. <laughs> on the guitar, I'm sure we would all agree that you're never perfect. No. But how has guitar playing helped you on the mound? Yeah, I think understanding music in, in, you know, in the broad sense that it is, is giving a little, taking a little, uh, and learning when to, when to come in strong, when you can uh, kind of give it a little extra, and when to play soft. Um, you know, there's so much that goes into the flow of it, where you could be playing all the right notes, but if it's at the exact same, there's no, there's no character in it, right. and it just doesn't sound the same. And I mean, it can be said for all types of guitar players. You look at um, any of the great ones, you know, like Mark Knopfler, he doesn't play like anybody else, Dire Straight. He's got one of a kind tone, it's the way he plays, his finger style. Nobody plays like him, and that's what makes him special. And I think it's, it's a lot of the same in pitching, you know, nobody, no two people throw the same. So there's no sense in trying to cookie cutter it on the guitar as well.